In light of Africa's growing population and the urgent requirement for skilled leaders to drive social, economic, and political development, UNESCO and the People's Republic of China, through China Funds in Trust, CFID 3 are collaborating to improve technical and practical training programs. The objective is to provide students with the essential professional experience needed to succeed in their respective career path. One of the key critical challenges has been to match the curriculum training and delivery to the labor market demands. The transition from one curriculum to another is the thing that limits these institutes to shift from being like competent and uh, linking the students to the industries directly. It's not very easy for us to, to go direct into the workforce and adapt everything and uh, it's kind of difficult, not kind of, it's very difficult. Ici on a on fait beaucoup de cours qui sont qui sont pas vraiment important pour nous. On a une inadéquation même avec ce qu'on veut devenir en fait. So we need to have this agility to constantly construct, deconstruct, reconstruct learning. Representatives from institutions across Côte d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Gabon, Senegal, Tanzania, and Uganda gathered in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania in June 2023 for the CFID-3 annual project meeting. With an impressive turnout of more than 300 participants, including 277 young people, the event explored effective initiatives to enhance advanced technical education across Africa. And the CFIT3 project supports higher education institutions in Africa, in 12 institutions, six countries, to respond to the high level skill needs for economic transformation and sustainable national development. Youth is the future of the world. The CFIT3 project perfectly complements this reform working in synergy to advance the Education 2030 agenda. I hope that effective partners, uh, partnerships and collaborations will be forged throughout the implementation of the project to improve the quality of our technical education in our region for a technical and innovative workforce. This project has come at the right time because our university has got in Vision 2061. En fait, ce que nous avons fait avant était que la professionnalisation reposait sur le diplôme. Quand on suivait une formation, on avait un diplôme et puis on allait à la recherche d'un emploi. Donc nous avons dû euh, donner une dimension plus professionnelle au contenu de formation. Nous avons pu utiliser euh, les nouvelles technologies naturellement pour pouvoir euh, effectivement mettre en œuvre ces, 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 ces filières de formation. Et donc de ce côté, le projet CEFIT a été un apport important pour euh, nous appuyer euh, dans ce sens-là. Les filles ont commencé à s'intéresser de mieux en mieux à nos domaines. Nous sommes passés de 20% de jeunes filles qui intégraient nos filières scientifiques techniques à 27%. Halfway through its completion, CFIT has made remarkable strides in all partner institutions. These accomplishments include fostering increased participation of girls in STEM subjects, bareheading curriculum changes, and facilitating stronger connection between high education institutions and the job market. In the past one and a half year of implementation, the project has reached 9,000 youth across the 12 universities and provided substantial training opportunities in youth skills development in entrepreneurship, soft skills, and higher technical subjects, especially in the STEM subjects. And over 1,500 students have accessed substantial training opportunities because of the project. But they are also able to innovate certain ideas and come up with products that can go to the market and be commercializable. Uh, although there are few, we have some students who have a product in their hands, which can be sold. So we are giving them additional training, additional seed money, uh, to make sure that that product will become like product that is made in Ethiopia, that will solve the societal problems. So far, this project has been proving outcomes 
that are also attracting other countries and universities that requested to be part of the project. And with the UNESCO Campus Africa Initiative, we are seeking to expand our support and build a network of higher technical universities in order to contribute to the overall scenario of enhancing higher technical education in Africa for youth.